Hello, this is the Lonzo Show. I was watching on the news today, and um, uh, ICE, immigration or whatever, uh, ICE people riding around to Oakland and Berkeley. And it put a lot of people in a frenzy because they thought they were going to do immigration raids on um, high schools. And they didn't. They, they hit a couple apartments in the community, put out like 30, 40 people who were being deported. The thing is uh, that the city council members and the mayor of Oakland and all these people were outraged because they thought that ICE was going to run immigration raids on high schools. And that brings us to this question. My sister asked me. She asked me, well, if you was a governor or whatever, what would you do when a, you know, a husband and wife have been deported and their kids were born here? What would I do? What I would do is simple. And, you know, I know this is going to sound harsh, but I would send the kids home with the parents. And if the parents are illegally here, and they've had kids while they were illegal aliens, and their kids are considered illegal, I would send their asses back where the parents came from, with the parents. Because if there's a problem with us keeping, uh, if there's a problem splitting the family up to send the family home, then don't split the, split the family up, send them home. It's a common sense factor. So you say, what about these children who are considered American citizens? What about them? Now, if the parents did something wrong, uh, you know, the kids, you know, it's not their fault. But in saying what I said, I would send the kids home. And this is what would happen. Say, for instance, Molly and Jam, James. Molly and James are illegals from whatever country. Molly and James are here four years and have two kids. Okay? Molly and James got these two kids and then they get caught by INS. Send them home. Send all four of them back to the host country. I mean, the, um, the country of origin. Send them home. Send all four of them. Home. Send the mother, the father, the babies. Send everybody home. Send them fucking home. But before you send these kids back to a third world country or wherever the country the parents ran from, give them a DNA test, fingerprint, retinal scan. That way. They are American citizens. That way, when they become of age to go to college, that way they can come back. Uh, when they're, say, 16, say they want to come here at 16, then they should be allowed to come here at 16 as long as they have a legal family member in the country that can, you know, temporary, you know, rights or whatever. I don't know. The moral of the story is this. You have a family of illegals here, and the main two people in the family, the mother and the father, are found to be illegal, then you send the entire family back. And I don't see anything wrong with that. And these kids will be allowed to return to their country. You know, when they're old enough to go to college or once they become an adult. When you're 18 years old, you don't feel like you're going to college. I want to go home back to America. You're 18, you come back, you give them your DNA, you give them your retina, you give them your fingerprints, you, have, you match up with the little kid that seven-year-old that left, now you come back at 21, shit, you have no problem, you're in like Flynn, because you're American citizen. You come back at 16 for school, you know, um, you know, there should be stipulations when you come back, you should be of high, high California or whatever school or whatever state or high school equivalent, you, you, you have to be at that high school equivalent level when you come back, at least high school equivalent to the state and what you're trying to get into. Um, you know, and that's it. Simple as that. So there is no question rather you should uh, send somebody home or not. The parents are illegal. They have kids here. And there shouldn't be any question. Send them all home. With the opportunity to come back, no you know, questions asked, they can come back. When the parents get their citizenship or status, they all can come back. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people wouldn't agree with that. A lot of people say, you know, it's not right to send these kids back into a situation that's fucked up. Look at the situation they're in now. Can't be no worse than what there is here. I hate to have to say that. It's pretty fucked up here. Unless you got something, it's fucked up.
If you don't got nothing, and you living like a regular person, please, send the ass fucking home. There's enough people here already starving and hungry to have some people pissed off at us, starving and hungry, and sending money back someplace else. That's it. That's just my opinion on that. And I'm going to let that go. For the next two minutes, I'm going to make uh, a comment on video comments. This next statement, like I said, is on video comments. When people comment on your videos, whoever you are out there, they don't comment on your videos to dish you. Most of the people who listen to the real AIX and watch the real AIX comment on people's videos with the sole purpose of enlightening the people who watch these videos. So if someone from my family watches your videos and you don't like the fact that they don't agree with you, that's too fucking bad. The world is not based around what the fuck you think it should be. It's not based around what the fuck I think it should be. That's why when people comment on my page, they comment. Okay, comment's a comment. Okay, fine. You comment. I'm not going to hate on you for what you say. I'm not going to drag out a bunch of fucking your stupid shit just because you didn't agree with me. So, you know who the fuck I'm talking to. You know who you are. I made some comments just recently on a subject, and you took my comments as weakness. I sound weak. Let me tell you something. The last time I spoke on that same fucking comment, they had my picture, my face, on other people's bodies, bashing me in the head with motherfucking sticks and shit, talking about killing me because I said an invasion is an invasion. And I truly believe you stick a group of people someplace in a situation that does drive down the markets, that drives down every fucking market. Housing market goes down. The fucking uh, fucking labor market goes down. You know things fucked up. It's like you know and perception. I said perception too in my response to you. If you see a bunch of people doing one thing and then you used to see a different group of people doing that same thing, you automatically put one and one together and assume that these people are trying to take something from these people. Understand what the fuck somebody's taking. You say high-skilled labor jobs. I said high-skilled labor jobs on videos, but if you watch my videos and you see through my videos to the end, you'd understand exactly what the fuck I was saying when I commented on your video. Okay? I have been making statements like you have been making way before you were making those statements. So for you tell me, for you to tell me that I'm weak or that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, understand this. And understand it because I'm only going to say it one time. I am not you. I see things from a different perspective, and you are not me. The fundamental, beautiful thing about this whole YouTube situation is we don't have to agree with each other. But I did agree with you, and I gave my opinion on what you were saying. But all you could see was what you said. You took what I said as an insult. Well, let me tell you something, person, or whoever the fuck you are. I did not insult you. And when I... Uh, said that so-called immigrants around here are being treated like slaves. They fucking are. They won't do what you will do at a job. You won't do what they will do at a job. And, you know, when I said slave, I didn't mean slave labor. I ain't picking fruit for free. What I mean by slave is this. How many times do you run when somebody tells you to run? How many times have you been, you know, in a position to do what you want to do at a job and do it and be successful at it. So when you look at certain intangibles, you know I know I skipped around right there, certain intangibles, you put yourself in position to hire somebody, then you can hire anybody you want to. That's the problem with so called illegals and all this and that shit. When they get in position to hire somebody, who the fuck they hire? They hire somebody that they can best relate with. And that's not you, me or some white person. You know, some of these people hire the people they know, the people they can speak to, and the people they can deal with. So you put yourself in position to do some hiring and firing. You stay at a job long enough so you can do some hiring and firing. And don't trip when somebody don't hire you or when you stop seeing blacks and you stop seeing whites on jobs. Look at these people. Once you position yourself to do something, you can get something done. Until then, for those motherfuckers out there who can't respect me, those people out there who don't understand who the fuck I am, you've been tubed. Yeah, you. You've been tubed.